Hey everyone, so I made this uh, Zoom background. I used GIF, PowerPoint, and lesson pics, and I'll call this, look, up in the sky, it's an airplane, it's a bird, it's Superman. Anyway, I want to show you um, the objects that will be flying over me. So here they are. I have an airplane, balloon, bird, there's Superman, helicopter, a hot air balloon, a parachute, a butterfly, a kite, a bee, a blimp, and then I have two transition videos that I integrated, which wherein I would say to my students, um, okay, uh, the weather has changed and I can see something behind me or above me and it's a lightning and I can hear thunder too. I think it's going to rain, so let me go inside. So, and then I'll make it rain and I'll say, okay, let me go inside and let's continue our work inside my house. So something like that. Okay, now on to the tutorial. So I basically used PowerPoint presentation and let me show you the um, GIF. So I just saved the GIF and then all I did was copy it and then pasted it to my uh, PowerPoint. So there it is. And I treated the video as a picture. So I have to expand the entire video to the edges of the presentation of the page basically all right next thing i did was um i used lesson picks so with lesson picks let me log in Okay, so I just added the objects. Hopefully it logs in soon. Come on. Alright. It is not cooperating right now. Let me try that again. There it is. Okay, so for example, I added the airplane. Okay, so I have those. I'm going to click that, and then it will automatically go to my presentation. And I adjusted the size. And then to make it fly, I added the animation. So let me close my lesson picks here. And then with animation, I did first, I animated the GIF and I just made it as a play. So that's my first animation. And then, so you can see here my animations. And then the, the second animation I did was uh, for the object. So I basically just use um, motion motion paths. So I did, let me see, could be a king wave or I'm gonna use that one, or curve, I did a curve. Okay, and then from there you can adjust how much movements it will do, how far it will go to. There you go, and then I added more GIFs in the animation, so I probably added five of them. So let me just add that again. So if you can see here on my animation page or animation um, column, I'm just really adding the sky animation. 
I'm just doing this so that I'll have time to talk before I um, go into my next animation or my next um, GIF. Alright, I'll just add one more. And that's it. So, this is it. And then, for the first, the very first animation of the sky, I wanted to start um, almost five seconds before the before the video um, stops. So about it's it's running for nine seconds, sixty millis sixty seven milliseconds. So I want to run it um, the very end. So I'd go to timing, and then I'll go to effects, and then I want it to run. Nine could be I can do just nine fifty nine. There we go. And okay. Oops, let me just see. Alright, so that's it. So um after that I saved it as MP4. Alright, so here let's see. Um I could say this PC and then I could say or I can add it to a new folder which is sample animation. Alright, and then I can say um, clouds and the save. Oops, wrong one. I have to save it as and before. Let me just do that one more time guys. Okay, here you go, MPEG for video. Okay, that's very important that you save it as MP4. And then you click save. And then that's it. And that MP4 is what you upload into your Zoom background. Um, also, one more thing I want to say is you have to do this uh, one slide at a time. So you have to save it one slide at a time. And it will play in Zoom the entire video and entire animation. All right. So if you have any question, message me um, in Facebook because I will be posting this in Facebook. For now, Mrs. Abney is signing off. And until the next video, bye guys.